different ways of using magnesium. If, you're, you, if it's an emergency situation, you're going to want to put it into an IV drip. Um, you can take it orally. You can nebulize it and vaporize it right into the lungs, which is part of transdermal treatment because you're treating the lungs as the, the, uh, the continuation of the skin in the interior of the body. You can put it directly on your skin and to be abs um, absorbed directly through the skin. You can um, put it all over your body that way, You're, or just in parts of the body. If you have a, a sore leg or you know, certain pain, if you have restless legs, the application would be favorably more on the legs. You don't have to do the whole body. But when you're very deficient and you're treating something like cancer or diabetes, it's good to get the whole body. The more you put on the body, the longer you leave it on the body, the more that's going to be absorbed. So there are many different ways of, of using it, depending on the situation. But one of the most intensive ways, actually, is putting it in a bathtub. You, can, you actually need to use two, three, even four pounds. Well, let's say three pounds in a, in a full bath. Put two, three pounds, up to five pounds of sodium bicarbonate in the bath with it. Um, when you take a hot bath, uh, it, the, it's just a different experience. It has to be experienced to be understood. Uh, so is spraying it on the body and having somebody, either somebody in the family or a professional massage therapist, come in and actually use the magnesium oil as a massage oil. So you're uh, doubling up, you're getting a wonderful, relaxing, therapeutic massage with a deep magnesium treatment, and I call that magnesium massage. Doses for transdermal magnesium therapy vary depending on how you use it. The more you use, you can't go in the morning and put an ounce on your body and put your clothes on and go to work. It's like coming out of the sea after being in the ocean for a few hours, and you're very drippy and salt. And it, But if you put a little bit on, then you can go about your business, and it depends on how comfortable you are. My recommendation for full out transdermal magnesium therapy treatments is to use about an ounce every day. I'm either massaging it in or just putting it all over like suntan screen, go out in the sun, get some vitamin D, leave it on for 30, 40, up to an hour or longer, there's no time limit, and then just take a shower and wash it off. Actually, one of the most uh, uh, beautiful treatments is actually just to go down to the ocean. If you have warm water, the ocean is full of magnesium and is reasonably concentrated. And you can go, and if you can stay out there for half hour, 45 minutes, an hour, or a few hours, you're getting a massive magnesium treatment. Um, to, to compete with the ocean concentration, you have to put quite a bit of magnesium in the bathtub, putting a half a cup is not going to do it. You need to put in a minimum of a pound just to compete with the ocean. And you might want to take it up to two, three, or four pounds. In the sodium bicarbonate book, there's a chapter discussing using the oral method with the transdermal, combining the two. We can actually take magnesium and just, and I do this to people all the time. I just take pure magnesium oil and I spray one, two, three, it's very strong, gives you a real feeling for what magnesium chloride really is, spraying it in the mouth like this, and then swallowing, swallowing which qualifies for oral care, is very strengthening for the gingiva, the gums, and also for the teeth. Teeth, the strength of the teeth is not dependent on calcium as much as magnesium. You, people will find out that it's, it's, it's pretty strong stuff. So what you do is you take it and you spray in water. In water, it'll be, and I'll put five, five sprays is a pretty good dose. I'm, personally, I use 10 or 15. Some people, it varies very much from person to person. How much you put in, if you put 10, 15 sprays, some people will, two hours later, an hour later, they'll be running to the bathroom. It'll loosen the stools or actually give diarrhea. Putting it with water. A 
Five sprays for me is a pretty weak solution, goes down very easy. If you want to give it to children with grape juice, it's fantastic, or any juice. The, the idea when you use it orally like this, you want to be very sensitive to what's happening to the intestines. It's okay if it loosens the intestines, but then you know where your maximum dosage is and then you cut back 